So the magic is supposed to happen again. Six X Rare employees are joining together to form Playtonic and create the games we've all been waiting years for. They're spiritual successors and will gladly throw money at that. And they want to listen to their fans on the forums for what they'd like to see in ukulele. But I feel that making a video about this kind of stuff really helps you get your point across, and it's much easier to find when searching through the web. So because I can't keep my ideas to myself, here's a list of five things I'd like to see in ukulele. Besides being able to fund the game with PayPal, since I don't have a credit card that'll work with this. Glad to see you guys are already working on a solution for that. Alright, let's start it off! Originally, this spot was reserved for talking about how much I loved this part from the Baron Bird's first adventure, and how it felt like a quick recap of everything you just did, and it made me want to play through the game right away. But you clever devils already beat me to it in your fundraiser. But there was always one little thing that I wanted in that part. A multiplayer experience for it. Now, I know there's already a multiplayer function for the game that's already funded, but when did that stop you guys from putting in as many replayable moments as possible, hmm? Think of it like Mario Party, where the minigames are already from the game itself, trivia to get an extra space, and something that can hinder your opponents because what's a party game without a way to test your friendship? Oh, and an online function for it as well, so the party doesn't end until the servers do. Then the offline multiplayer keeps the party going again! So if I heard this correct, you guys at Playtonic want to give each version its own special thing. I think that might be way more work than you're expecting, but if you really plan to go through with it, then hey, I've got a suggestion. I don't have much to say for Xbox One except stay clear of the Kinect. And for PS4? I really can't think of anything besides doing something with SharePlay. But for Wii U, I have one idea from your past. Now, besides the Amiibo support, which I'm ready to throw even more money at, what if a second player used the Wii U gamepad to control the enemies in the levels? You know, like the Devil Bottles mechanic that didn't get finished in Banjo-Tooie? Think about it. Now it's not gonna leave your head. If there was one thing I loved about Banjo-Kazooie's worlds, it was that they were large enough to explore, simple in design, didn't have to be bigger than they needed to be, looking at some of your worlds there, Tui, and didn't matter where you first started off going. Take Mumbo's Mountain, for example. Basically, a giant square from a bird's eye view. However, you started in a corner and were free to explore the area in any direction you wanted, and no matter which way you went, you learned something that would help you out in another area. So one playthrough you could go straight, and another you could try going up the mountain see which way was faster to complete the world. Now I'm not saying make each world a shape, but let us have the freedom to explore in so many ways that we can experiment with it later. That may sound like a tall order, but you guys have pulled it off a couple times, so I'm sure you've got the basics down. One thing I can't give Banjo-Kazooie enough credit for is its story. Sister kidnapped and she'll have her beauty stolen. That's it. The consequences are minimal and doesn't take itself seriously. Case in point, this is a witch using a machine to transfer their beauty and not some magic spell. Make sense? No. Does anyone care? Not in the slightest. The sequel tried to make things darker, but I honestly felt that its darker settings almost made it feel detached from what the series had set up for itself in the first game. I guess what I'm saying here is that whatever your story is, make it as ridiculous as possible. Make it about Laylee having a toothache and these pages would heal it so Laylee wouldn't have to go to the dentist and Yuka doesn't have to wait for Laylee in the waiting room or something. I don't know, I'm not a writer. I'm just sick of kidnapped princesses, villages under attack, and the end of the world. This is one of those times where people couldn't care less about the story because they know who's making it. And that alone is why you guys got funded in about 40 minutes. This is something I can only ask you guys to attempt, because trying to pull it off in today's gaming market is virtually impossible. The only thing that can keep a game's longevity going longer than a multiplayer experience is speculation. Banjo-Kazooie kept fans talking for over two years, and if you didn't know where I was going before, you should now, because everyone who played Musical Named Animals when it first came out had only one big question on their mind. How do I get the ice key and eggs? And a few other little questions, but that was the big one. It wasn't like anything else at the time, because we knew these things were in the game, but we couldn't get them. Theories started going around, no one had answers, and Rare must have been laughing at what they had done. It backfired on them in the end, but it's time to learn from that mistake and hopefully make it better. See, back then no one knew how to get them until hackers discovered it, which is almost common practice by today's standards, but back then, it was almost unheard of! So while I have no idea of how to incorporate something like this all over again without people digging through the files, it's still worth something to experiment with and give it at least a shot. 
What made the original Stop and Swap fun wasn't just the mystery, it was knowing that you could get those in the game and it was possible to get them without needing the sequel, which didn't do a thing to get them in the first place, but something that transfers over to the sequel while needing the sequel in order to get the answers as to how to get them and not having a clue as to what they do is a mystery of itself and... I think I lost a number of people, so yeah, a whole new version of Stop and Swap. Items, characters, slippers for all I care. Just basically something that connects the games together but isn't necessary to beat one or the other and it gets people talking for years. Yes, I want that nightmare all over again. Just make sure that if you do actually figure out something for this, have a plan B just in case the first one doesn't work. And that'll do for this list, and if you have a difference of opinions, I'd love to hear what ideas you'd like to see implemented in ukulele. I'm ready for a new generation of speculation! I really hope I don't have any dreams this time. I kept your attention for this long? I must be getting better or something! In that case, maybe you'd like some of these other videos? Ah, so you noticed the thumbnail for a review for Hyrule Warriors? Good eyes! I decided that I'm going to try and put a thumbnail for an upcoming list or review to keep things a bit more exciting. Keep in mind that I have no idea when those videos are going to be done, or if that might not even be the next video as there might be something else that might come up right away, but it's something to look forward to. A review of Hyrule Warriors is coming because I did kind of promise that a while ago, along with another set of videos, please don't remind me or it might take longer to get done. And our video plug for today is a Sonic 06 review by Retropolizone, or Retropolizone, I'm sorry, I'm not exactly sure how to say it. He goes into great detail about the game's history, gameplay mechanics, and the many flaws that plague the game without sounding like some kind of typical hater. Just someone being completely honest. Speaking of sounding, I want to make it clear from the get-go that his first language is not English, and does a wonderful job narrating in a second language. It may not be the most comical review of the game out there, but it is very well done and very informative all the same. Okay everyone, it's time to get to work on that Hyrule Warriors review, and now make you wait over a year like I did the last time I did that. Later everyone!